Hey, what is up, dudes? My name is Freaky, back again with some Q&A Fridays, episode 42. And if you guys are new to the Q&A Friday series, basically, I get all my subs together to leave me some questions in the comment section below of this video uh, to have them get answered in next week's Q&A Fridays, episode 43. Uh, so if you guys are new to it, make sure you guys leave some questions in the comment section below. Uh, no matter how many questions you guys leave, I will answer it so it can be a fuck, marry, kill, a gaming question, a YouTube question, any question you really just want to ask me, um, or if you want me to to give you advice on something, there you go. Anything your heart really desires, you're like, hey dude, that is a good question. I'm gonna ask Freaky this because this just sounds freaking awesome and he should definitely answer this question. And don't worry about it not getting answered. I'll make sure I answer every single one of your questions. So, the gameplay today is some Mob of the Dead. And uh, I just decided to hop on Black Ops 2. I was like, why not, dude? Let's just hop into Black Ops 2. That sounds freaking goddamn fantastic. And uh, I just hopped on some zombies and we was just messing around. And I got some pretty cool gameplay for you guys. The, the the people I was playing with are just totally randoms, and uh, two of the randoms decided to leave halfway through the game and just rage quit. I don't know what they're doing. I think I was playing with kind of low base skill, amazing sla zombie slayers. I don't even know what they were, but uh, they weren't amazing at the game, so I think they just rage quit because of it or something like that. Um, I don't want to hate anybody because they're not a whole amazing zombie slayer or anything like that because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that crazy. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, today the gameplay is pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Hope you guys will enjoy it. I actually really enjoy Mob of the Dead. Mob of the Dead is like one of my favorite zombie maps, uh, like in the history of zombie maps. I don't know, the whole the whole grittiness of the map and everything like that is really crazy. And I really like Alcatraz uh, as like a place on this earth. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And uh, I don't know, I'm into that paranormal type of stuff. So this map really um, brings out that cool aspect behind. It's really, really cool. I like there's like, um, what is it? Outer body experiences with like the ghosty spiriting shit. I don't even know what that's called anymore. Um, and then you got the zombies, you get like the dead bodies hanging around. You got the ghost dog thing that comes out of the wall. Uh, you just got a whole bunch of crazy shit in this map. And it's freaking amazing. I don't know what it is about this map, but it's just, just amazing. And uh, yeah, so let's hop into Q&A Fridays episode 42 uh, sponsored by a big dick and a floppy penis uh, <laughs> smooth Robert uh, when were you young in school or when you were young in school and if you got any bad grades were you ever in any serious trouble um, I wasn't in any serious trouble um, it was more just like you need to work better unless you're not going to play Xbox or something like that. I don't really know. Um, I didn't have the best grades in high school, if uh, you guys did not know. Um, so, I don't know. I wasn't really any serious trouble. I kind of, it, it, near the end of, uh, like, probably junior year and senior year, it got a lot better. But, you know, throughout freshman year and everything like that, probably I was in serious trouble. I don't really remember. Uh, I wasn't in, like, oh, my God, you grounded for, like, seven months, eight years and uh, 42 hours or something like that, but <laughs> I was in some somewhat of a trouble, I guess. I don't know. And what's my favorite car in Grand Theft Auto? Um, you know, I'm gonna have to go with the Entity. I don't know why, but the Entity just looks pretty sexy, and uh, I don't know. Entity, my favorite car. Mine looks like a Batman mobile or some shit, uh, like the Batmobile. I think it's awesome. It's crazy. I don't know. I love the gun, or I love the car. Uh, ben D. Clerk. Uh, would you rather have a rotating dick like a propeller off, off of a plane so you could fly with it and sparkles coming out of it, or would you rather get laid every night with any girl, but it would take six hours to come? It sounds like me every day. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, if I could get laid by every every night with any girl that I wanted, but it would take six hours to come, if she was able to fuck that long, I would definitely do it. Or maybe can I can I pre masturbate for about five hours so the sex only has to last like an hour and then I can finish? Is that is that capability there? I don't know. Maybe maybe possibility. Uh, but you know, the flying around with your dick would be pretty cool. It'd be a sight for sore eyes if you know what I'm talking about. You could fly around and uh, it'd be you'd be like a freaking helicopter. You could have people ride on on you. You'd be like, oh, where you want to go, buddy? Where you want to go? Well, up, up and away. <laughs> Just imagine that. Oh, freaking coming down for landing. It's like, <laughs> Just little landings. I pick up like presidents and shit. I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, I got like I'm like a little army helicopter coming down. They're like go 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 go, <laughs> freaking helicopter out. I don't know. That'd be freaking hilarious. I don't know. Each one of those sound fantastic. I'm gonna have to go with the uh, uh, get laid every night though. That sounds fun. Uh, Brett Sheen, 
Question number one, what's the name of your galaxy? Uh, the Freaky Milky Way Galaxy. Milky, Milky Freaky Galaxy. There we go. Uh, and cute. Question number two, should I buy an Xbox One or a PS4? Five of my friends have the Xbox One and five of my friends have the PS3, PS4. Help me out. Well, I'm not into the whole, oh my god, Xbox One, uh, PS4 is better than each other, whatever, whatever. I'm not big into the whole console wars and stuff like that. Because, frankly, I just don't care. I just bought whatever uh, my friends had or were going to get. That's pretty much what I did. But you seem like you have the 5v5 friend type of thing. I would go with whatever friends you like more. So, I mean, hopefully they don't see this video and you get, like, a PS4 or something and then your other friends are like, Ah, oh, he likes he likes the PS4 friends more or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I would just say that. Who's ever, like, the most stable f friends you play with on, uh, like, the consoles or gaming or whatever, I'd say get. Um, because those are the ones you're going to have the most f uh, fun with, so... Go with whatever ones you like more. Well, whoever you play with more, I guess. I don't know. It's a favorite game you got to play, I guess. Um, but I don't know. I like both of the consoles. Even though I don't own a PS4, I would definitely get one if I had extra money lying around. Um, so I'm not whole on the big console war things, but got to get what you got to get, right? Just pick whatever the hell you want. Muffcake4. He says, uh, what are your plans for this channel now that you have so many subs? And uh, are you going to try and mix it up? Um, so I noticed that lately, um, I've been trying to do a lot more face cam stuff, uh, type of stuff. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more Gmod videos coming up here soon. Um, if you guys are into Gmod, definitely look out for those videos because I'm gonna be doing a lot more of that stuff. Um, I don't know, I like, I like kinda like putting more time into my videos now more than I ever have before because I see a lot of you guys are really interested into, uh, coming to over to my channel, watching my videos, commenting and liking and stuff like that. Uh, so I was like, you know what, why not just spend a little bit more time editing my videos? and doing a whole bunch of cool stuff for you guys uh, so you guys can enjoy it and have a good laugh because I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, you put a smile on my face and stuff like that, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, I never thought I'd be able to do that for some people, but I guess I do. I guess I make you guys smile. You pretty little smiles that you got going on. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm going to be bringing a mixture of stuff for sure. Titanfall is going to be coming out, so I'm going to bring like Titanfall, Call of Duty, um, what else do I got? I got Gmod. Uh, I'm probably going to bring some zombies. Uh, probably going to start doing a Black Ops 2 live series just for like gameplay, just a live anything series. Uh, because if you guys did not know, Black Ops 2 is having new camos coming out, which means they might have a possibility of a new map pack coming out. Which is very unlikely, but if they're bringing out camos for Black Ops 2 since Treyarch isn't making the next year's Call of Duty... There's a possibility of new zombies and maps and stuff like that, which would be really awesome. So I'm going to bring you stuff like that and probably other future games to come, uh, like Destiny and um, pretty cool games coming up. So, yeah, if you guys want to see any of my cool little awesome videos, hope you guys will enjoy any gaming videos that I bring. And uh, because I'm going to bring a whole bunch of mixtures of games. Kieran McCarthy, do you have a rainbow donkey dick? I do have a rainbow donkey dick, especially one that flies around like the other guy said earlier. Except mine flies around like a airplane, so it just starts up and we and it kind of like it's kind of like a jet engine. It has like little flames that come out of it, and it's pretty cool. Some chicks are a little bit a little bit afraid of it. Uh, I can make it. They they sometimes want to use it as like a blow dryer or something to blow off their hair. Um, but you know who's to blame them? Who's to blame? Sometimes their hair starts on fire, but <laughs> not my fault. They're sticking it too close to the little jet engine down there, aren't you? Um, but, you know, stuff happens, stuff happens. Sometimes I like to put a uh, little lighter, lighter fluid on the ground and start the ground on fire just with my penis. Sounds pretty cool, right? I don't know. You guys should get on that game. Get on that airplane jet engine penis game, son. Zacky Dwarf, can you get Titanfall for PC uh, 2 when it comes out? Um, if I have extra money, uh, a lot of you guys are like, dude, you should totally just get this. And, like, I don't have a lot of money to spend on a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not, like, a huge YouTuber, so I don't get, like, paid. Like, oh, my God, like, billions and billions of dollars. Uh, but, you know, if I do have extra any extra money, because a lot of my friends are like, dude, you should totally get it for the Xbox 362. And uh, I, if I had to buy it for three consoles or something, that'd be, like, 180 bucks. That's a lot of money just for one game, if you know what I'm saying. And there's probably going to be DLC and stuff like that. So I might stick to the Xbox One for right now and see where I go from there. If I get a new PC, I'll probably buy it for uh, PC as well. Uh, Tame Z, uh, what did you or wh what do you like better, Titanfall or Call of Duty? There you go. Uh, what do I like better? I like them both. They're both different games. Um, but if we had to compare Call of Duty Ghosts and Titanfall... 
Titanfall is like 80% better than Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, Call of Duty Ghosts kind of is not fast-paced. Titanfall is surprisingly fast-paced for having only 6v6 game. And uh, the maps are actually smaller than Call of Duty Ghosts, I think. Uh, at least that's what it feels like. Um, so, I don't know. Right now, if you had to compare the, the new games, Call of Duty Ghosts, to Titanfall, Titanfall, way better than Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts just has shitty maps. And it's not in-your-face action like Black Ops 2 was, which is very disappointing. Uh, so, if I had to compare the two, Titanfall over Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, Tony, uh, Hayig, I think this is his name, <laughs> I want to say that's what it is, uh, would you, uh, would you rather be a lesbian with HIV or be gay and have cancer, but, uh, be super ugly, but attract to women? Um, okay, so, uh, be a lesbian with HIV, or be a gay guy that has cancer, but super ugly, but uh, women are attracted to me. Oh, God, that's hard. Uh, <laughs> well... Yeah, I can't be the lesbian with HIV because then be just spreading HIV, and I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'll be the gay guy with cancer because I think I could possibly maybe get it away, but I'd be super ugly. But girls are attracted to me, right? So I mean, I don't, I don't know. We're gonna have to go with the gay guy. You know what? Why not? Because cancer kind of slays slays that pussy, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't fucking know. We're gonna be we're gonna be the super ugly gay guy with cancer uh, because we get some pussy even though we don't want it. <laughs> Lossy stealthy fuck Mary kill. Uh, Kate Upton, Jennifer Lawrence, and Ariana Grande. Holy shit, that is a hard fuck Mary kill. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, man. Uh, let's see here. We're going to marry Ariana Grande because she's just super fucking cute, and we're going to. Uh, that's a hard one. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna fuck Jennifer Lawrence because I saw her ass recently and it's ridiculous. And we're gonna kill Kate Upton. I'm sorry, Kate Upton. You have tits, um, but Jennifer Lawrence has that big old booty. So we're gonna have to fuck Jennifer Lawrence. And Jennifer Lawrence is just fucking cute. Uh, Chaos Kaiser, are you buying any? Uh, if the DLCs for Call of Duty Ghosts, are you buying any of the DLCs for Call of Duty Ghosts? If so, which one? Uh, you know. I'm going to be still buying probably all the DLC, depending if they do come out, because the DLC was actually pretty good for Call of Duty Ghosts. It was decent. It was better than the maps that were actually on the disc itself. Um, it depends. I always look at the trailers. I'm like, am I going to want this? Am I going to want this? Okay, fine. I'll buy it. And uh, that's pretty much what happens. And I'll probably buy the DLC, most likely not the uh, camos and stuff like that, uh, just because it's, it's camos, and I really don't need it, really. And uh, the maps are what I really look for and am interested to, and uh, if I want to play anything, it'll it'll be the maps. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, some of the customization stuff, like the hazmat suit that's coming out, I kind of want to buy that, but... It all depends. It all depends how much it is and stuff like that. Because I don't want to pay like three bucks for a hazmat suit. That's ridiculous. That's a lot of money uh, for just a little decoration type thing as a character. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Naruto Shimufius, uh, Go Goku or Superman? Goku versus Superman. I think Goku wins every single time. Uh versus Superman. I'm pretty sure that's what they have on YouTube and stuff like that, so I'm going to have to go Goku. Uh, Joe, uh, Jose, or Jose, Jose Garcia. There we go. Jose Garcia. Do you think you will make a clan? Uh, make a clan for Cod Ghost, Titanfall. What are you guys thinking here? Um, I don't know. I don't make a lot of clans. I do have, like, a crew on Grand Theft Auto, uh, which is the Mother Freakers, but Otherwise, I don't play a lot of games with a lot of people to be able to make a clan, and, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's more of just kind of Grand Theft Auto type of stuff. Mostly, if I ha play the game a lot, I'll make a clan for it. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know what you're exactly asking for this question, like Titanfall or something like that. Uh, but maybe down the line we'll make some Call of Duty Ghosts or Titanfall clans or something like that. Vincent Cristomo, Fuck, Mary Kill, a piranha, a garbage disposal, an electric knife. Uh, oh, God. So, we're gonna fuck the... I'm going to fuck the garbage disposal because at least it's a hole. It might get chopped up in the process, but at least it's a hole. And we're going to marry the electrical knife because the electrical knife could help fend off anyone that decides to run at us. And it'd just be pretty cool because it's like it's like a taser mixed with a knife. Who doesn't want that? And we're going to kill the piranha because fuck, it's a piranha. Who gives a shit about the piranha? Did you guys know that piranhas, if you have like one as a pet, they will not eat uh, like a goldfish or anything you put in there if you're watching them yeah they're very kind of like self i'm not gonna eat it if, I, if you're looking at me uh -uh, uh, not, not gonna do it not gonna do it <laughs> it's pretty funny uh my cousins had them back in the day and that's what they would do it'd be weird they had pretty big ones too they're at least like five inches long it's a pretty big uh pretty big piranha for uh, just a pet 
Um, but yeah. Uh, Humberto Lopez, fuck Mary Kill, your sixth grade teacher with AIDS. Uh, your mom with one cut off leg or a moldy apple. So obviously we're not gonna fuck my mom because that's just weird. We're gonna fuck my sixth grade teacher though. I think she was hot. Let me remember. Yeah, yeah, she probably was hot, so we're gonna fuck her. Um, we're gonna marry the moldy apple, and we're gonna have to kill my mom. I'm sorry, mom, we're just gonna have to kill you. Rubes101, he says, future plans. Uh, my future plans, I noticed recently, I'm actually gonna go, during the summer, I'm going back down to Florida, and I'm probably going to see Chris. So, if you guys want me to do some videos with Chris, we could probably do some. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. And that's going to be in August-ish area. And if you guys live down in Florida or anything like that by, like, Panama City, you guys can kind of meet up with me. And we can do some stuff. Or if you're going down there in August, uh, then you guys could come meet up with me, which would be pretty cool. And be, like, my first time ever seeing subscribers in the world ever. And uh, wouldn't that be awesome? If you guys were my first <laughs> subscriber meetup thing, wouldn't that be freaking awesome just to see you for the first time? That'd be crazy. Uh, Sonic9000. Have you ever played uh, KSP? Uh, I've not. I just looked it up recently to see what there was. It's like some, what is it, like space program or something? I don't even know exactly what it's called. Something space program, and it's a little game. I don't know what exactly it is. Uh, I don't know how you play it. I don't know if it's third person, the first person. I think it's like a bird eye view type game. I don't even know. It looks kind of kiddish. I don't know. I've never played it before. Is it like a school game or something? I don't know. It looks kind of like a... Uh, uh, the worm game or whatever. That's kind of like how they're animated, I guess. Um, but, I don't know. Never played it, man. Never played it. Quammy, quam, quam. Would you rather have C. Nanner's laugh or Hutch's beard? Well, I could grow Hutch's beard, so I'm gonna go with C. Nanner's laugh. Uh, Hutch's beard isn't that hard to grow for me, so I can, I could grow that out. Uh, it would just take me about, like, three months or something, and then I'd get sick of it because it'd be super freaking itchy, and I'd just get pissed. And I'd have to shave it. Andre Lidman, uh, would you suck a dick for 10 seconds for $100,000? That seems like a good amount of time. Like, you don't have to wait till I'm finished. I mean, that's a possibility. It would buy a lot of mouthwash. It would buy a lot of mouthwash and a lot of, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of brushing your teeth. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd almost say yes because it, you could... You can't, nah, you can't buy a house with that. Okay, if it was a million dollars, I'd buy it. I'd do that. A uh, hundred thousand ah, dollars, is it cash money? Is it cash money? Because I could instantly go to the store and pick up some mouthwash and, like, down the whole liter of mouthwash. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'd do it. I don't think I'd do it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, uh, I kind of want to do it because then you get money. But then, you know, if the people are there to watch, it's just like, mm, I don't want to be known as the guy that sucked dick for ten seconds and... Cut at a hundred thousand dollars. Fuck that. Skazaddle, you gonna be playing Watch Dogs when it comes out? Um, I was thinking about it when I first saw the trailer ever during last summer, and I was like, oh, this game's gonna look sick. This game looks awesome. Uh, but then I saw some like uh, pre footage, like alpha footage or something, and you know that's not really the, you know what you're looking for in games. You're like, oh, it's just gonna be shit. Then uh, the graphics weren't amazing as I thought they would be, and that doesn't really put out a game. Um, but the game itself is one of those games that are like uh, Assassin's Creed, where like my graphics are so inferior to every one of your games and stuff like that. It's seems like more of a game you'd play on PC um, because of the graphic quality and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I'm not really interested in that type of game. It looks like a sick game to play. It might have a cool storyline, but it just looks kind of boring at the same time. I don't know if that's just me. I'd rather play Assassin's Creed because Assassin's Creed is awesome. That's that's just what it is. It's just awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, Maddie 660 fuck, marry, kill, a dog, a, sh a sheep, or an elephant. Uh, we're going to fuck the elephant. We're going to marry the sheep because it could give us wool. If we're really cold, we could just shave some of it off. We could just put it on. And we're like, eee, bah. <laughs> and uh, we kill the dog. Sorry, dog. Uh, Swedish Gamer XX, uh, what's your opinion on nudism and naturalism? Uh, or naturism. So, nudism and naturism. Uh, I think it's fine. I don't really care what it is. Uh, I kind of wanted to go to like a nude beach, but I feel like there'd be more old naked men walking around instead of hot super hot chicks uh so <laughs> um i'd rather you know not go there anymore um but you know people do what they want to do i let them do what they want to do and i really don't care what they do so if they want to be naked and walk around i really just don't care especially if they're really hot uh the chips 111 if you could have one superpower what would it be uh, if I could have one superpower, teleporting for sure, because you could, like, teleport uh, anywhere you really want to. You could, 
could pretty much steal anything you want to because it would be like lit literally seconds and no one would even know who you are. And even if they know who you are, they would never be able to catch you because you could teleport out of anything. So that superpower would be amazing. Chaos Kazer, can you say Iris wristwatch really fast? Iris wristwatch, Iris wristwatch, Iris wristwatch. You know, I didn't, I was trying to say this before the video started and I could not say it. So Iris wristwatch, Iris wristwatch, Iris wristwatch. It's really, really hard to say. <laughs> Vince Hernandez, fuck Mary Kill, crack weed, meth. Crack weed, meth every day, motherfucker. <laughs> fuck Mary Kill, let's go with this. We're gonna fuck, we're gonna fuck weed. We're definitely gonna fuck weed. Uh, we're gonna marry. We're gonna marry. Uh, we're eh, mm, We're gonna marry crack because at least we're. Eh, ah, fuck. And you know what? Eh, that's hard. No, we're gonna marry weed. We're gonna fuck crack. We're going to kill meth because meth kills kids. Meth fucking kills. Kills everyone's heart out in the world. If you have done meth for the first time ever in your life, you might die. You might. <laughs> so we're yeah, we're definitely gonna marry marry weed, fuck crack, and kill meth. All day, every day, because meth is a hell of a drug. Sean Quinn, uh, or MC at War, actually. How is Titanfall? Uh, Titanfall is a fun game. Titanfall is amazing, and I actually really, really dig Titanfall. Uh, Titanfall is probably one of the most fun games I've played in a long, long time. And I mean a long, long, long time, because it's kind of fresh and new. And he says, is it anything like Black Ops 2 and MW3? Definitely not at all. Um, they're both very, very different. I don't think it's Call of Duty-like at all. Uh, since it's with that Source engine, it's more of like a, um, a Valve game in a way. How it plays, because that's how their engine is on. It's always Source. And that's what it more feels like. It feels something that's going to be able to have, like, mods to it very easily. Like, not saying bad mods, like... Call of Duty mods and stuff like that, uh, but like mods, like really fun game modes and stuff like that, uh, that could go really, really cool with that game. So that's the game it kind of feels like. You know what I'm saying? A Griffin, Iceman, Fuck Mary, Kill, uh, a window, a window, a just covered rag, and a rusty snail. Uh, we're going to fuck the window and the wall. <laughs> we're gonna fuck the window and we're going to marry the rusty snail. And we're gonna kill the jizz covered rag because that shit's like crusty as fuck. I bet. That is probably gross. You could, like, scratch off, like... You could use it as a cleaner for an oven pan. Like, to get old grease off and stuff. That's literally what you could do with that rag. Uh, Andre Lidman, again. Fuck, marry, kill, a hammer, a nail, and a fork. We're going to fuck the fork. We're going to marry the hammer, and we're going to kill the nail. Uh, Garrett Wooler, he says, Fuck, marry, kill, uh, Beowulf, Beowulf, Adam Jensen, or Miley Cyrus in a diaper. Uh, you know, since Miley Cyrus is the only chick out of this, we're gonna kill her. <laughs> uh, we're going to fuck Beowulf, and we're gonna marry Adam Jensen, uh, just for the hell of it, because sometimes I just feel like being very mean to Miley Cyrus. I don't know why. Uh, the Chips 111, fuck, marry, kill, butter, uh, butter, Kate Upton, and an old grandma with a moldy eye. Oh, Jesus. This is a hard one. We're gonna fuck Kate Upton, we're going to marry the... <laughs> oh god, we're gonna marry the butter. We're gonna kill the old grandma with a moldy eye because sorry grandma You're probably dead if you have a moldy eye. Uh, Javon Slayer last question of this day Fuck Mary kill sniper uh, SS sniper wolf uh, girl gone gamer and I Justine We're gonna marry I Justine We are going to fuck girl gone gamer and we're going to marry or wait, 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 wait We said marry I Justine we're gonna fuck girl gone gamer and we are going to kill SS sniper wolf I'm sorry but we're just going to have to kill it. So hope you guys did enjoy this. This has been Q&A Friday's episode 42. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, make sure to leave a like and a favorite on this one. Uh, if you want to share this video with friends on Twitter and Facebook so they can ask me questions for next week's uh, Q&A Fridays. And uh, hope you guys did enjoy this. Hopefully you guys watched it all the way through. If you guys watched it all the way through, uh, make sure you guys uh, leave in the comment section below uh, Rainbow Zombie Penis Dinosaur. And uh, then I will know that you guys watched it all the way through. Also, uh, make sure to leave some questions in the comment section below if you guys want any questions of yours being answered in next week's q a fridays i uh, hope you guys did enjoy this one and uh, make sure to go check my other videos in the outro and if you're new here around here make sure to hit that subscribe button and i will catch your freaking your faces in the next video Woo! we're in trouble <laughs> we are in trouble this gun is no good gun no good no good whatsoever come here <laughs> come here Yes! Oh my god, we got him! We got him! <laughs>